Speaking of Hall of Fame, we have other news, and we have an official retirement. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I don't. we have an official. Uh, you, you don't believe so, Rick, but this is it. Tom is calling it quits. He is finally, officially, via, was it an Instagram post, uh, Instagram Live or something, where he decided that this was it, and he is hanging it up for good. I no, mean, this, no this graphic around. alone proves it. Like, <laughs> look, he's he's slowly dissolving into the matrix. He's just gonna disappear, <laughs> and everyone will be like, I mean, "That makes sense. That dude's not human. He's not a real human being. No, he's just slowly gonna vanish <laughs> into the matrix or whatever." Yeah, exactly, and that's what he's doing. Uh, so Tom Brady calls it quits officially. Uh, uh, now he has retired before, but this after the year he had in Tampa Bay. After the whole situation off the field with his wife and all the things going on with that, where I mean that was that that's gotta take your toll. I mean the guy's what forty five right now, and so it's like, at what point is it just like just go home, like you said, Scotty, go be a dad to your kids, go 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 hang out with them, and just go, uh, yeah enjoy go make it. The, like thirty five million a year you're gonna make at Fox, yeah. Just it, do oh, that, man. He's been, he's gonna make more money at Fox than he did his entire NFL career, Scotty. Yes. Uh, so there's that. But let's just uh, you know talk a little bit about what he's accomplished. He was the first player in NFL history to win a Super Bowl championship in three different decades. Go figure. I mean, that's kind of what happens when you're in the league for as long as you are. Uh, he's one of two quarterbacks to start and win a Super Bowl with multiple franchises, along with Peyton Manning. Shares a lot with Peyton Manning, actually, which is you know that Peyton Manning. Tom Brady rivalry was always just so good over the years. Uh, two players in NFL history with the following five plus 4,000 yard seasons, an MVP, two Super Bowl wins, and a Super Bowl MVP, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady since turning 40. Um, I mean, he's uh, he's just, he, he's he's a, he's great, right? There's a lot to. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, winning seven Super Bowls is pretty good. He's. Clearly the most accomplished yep. player in the history of the game, right? And that could stay forever. I don't know. I don't know if seven Super Bowls will ever get beat. That's a tough hill to climb for anyone. Even yeah. even my guy. You know? I mean, Super Bowls aren't aren't easy to win. Ask Aaron Rodgers, ask Drew Brees, ask some I mean ask some of the uh, Peyton Manning. Ask I mean, some of the best quarterbacks to ever play this game. John Elway only got two. Dan Marino didn't get one. Like, it's hard to win Super Bowls in this league. And even the best quarterbacks struggle to win Super Bowls. And so, you're right. He's very accomplished. And to that extent, he probably, he might not get caught. Yeah, I mean, now, I think as time goes on, Chris, to be honest, because everyone right now, he's like, oh, he's the GOAT. And for me, certainly the most accomplished and and best leader on on a, a team you know, and, and leading at the quarterback position and obviously elite quarterback, but was he the best quarterback we've seen on a football field talent wise and QB production wise on the field at his peak? Probably not. I mean, I think there's some more talented guys out there. I mean, you could argue, Pey Pey you could Pey argue Peyton Manning was the better Peyton, regular season quarterback than you could argue Aaron Rodgers. Obviously Mahomes is going to have a claim down the road here as he if he continues doing what he's doing um and everyone's like yeah but he won seven championships let's put it in nba terms chris bill russell won what 11 yeah or whatever he's, it was he's got a shit celtics. he's got a shit ton <laughs> yeah. he was the best player on he, a celtics team that won 11 titles he's never considered the goat no one considers him the greatest of all time no one so and i'm not saying tom brady's bill russell i'm just saying He's Bill Russell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get to the chat here real quick. Uh, best Zach for real. What's up, Zach? How are we doing? Uh, remind me who your team are, where you where you're from. Like to get. I, I, I sometimes I forget if you haven't been here before. If, you know, it's been a while. What's up, Matty Ice? How are we doing, my friend? Good to have you back in. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad Matty Ice is at least winning Super Bowls on a video game. Yeah. See. A retribution for that. 28 to 3 disaster. <laughs> yeah, you gotta win him at some some level. What's up, Matty Ice? Uh hey, you got congratulations. 
Uh, I'm at 21 retro Marty. bowl. 21 retro bowl championships. No, it, it is Marty. Ice. Oh, sorry, it's Marty Ice now. Sorry, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Marty. Uh, he's such a Marty. He still has seven Super Bowls. Says Diego. Yeah, he does. He's he's very that, he's good at winning absolutely. those. And no one. It, I don't know if anyone will beat it ever, ever. No, it's gonna be really really difficult to do. We'll uh, see in the next twenty years. <laughs> Mahomes plays for the Chiefs. How many he gets? It'll it it's. Yeah, I'm claiming Mahomes plays till he's 47. Chris. He's gonna play till he, I mean, he's gonna he, have. He, in the interview today, he, he, someone brought that up to him, and they're like, "Oh, are we gonna have to? Is this gonna be coming down the line with you?" And he's like, uh, "You got like 15 to 20 years before you need to worry about that." So, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> don't don't leave me, Pat. Don't ever leave me. Um. But yeah, it's 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 crazy to think that you know. All right, it's it. He's finally done, and again, this season he he was not having fun. <laughs> he was not having the same fun that he typically has, uh, and it showed. And this was it, it, it. We were talking about this what halfway through the season when he's throwing tablets across the, yelling at his offensive line like it just it just wasn't wasn't gonna feel like he's gonna come back. Yeah, I mean, listen, in his announcement that he put out here there today, he was like, you know, I have no regrets. I wouldn't change a thing. And I'm like, really? No regrets? Like coming back this season wasn't wasn't regretful. I mean, Ending, getting divorced because you came back for one mediocre season wasn't a regret for you. Mm -hmm. OK, yeah. All right. Yeah. A little little. But maybe, maybe the, you know. Maybe he they were gonna get divorced regardless. Who knows what was going on behind the scenes in that marriage? But well, and did, did they actually officially? I, I haven't heard anything recently on that. Oh, so. No, they're they're officially divorced. Oh, okay, fair. Oh enough. yeah, paperwork's filed, signed, sealed. I, I could always count on you to have all the details on all the the the, the, the important yeah, things. Yeah, I go to TMZ Sports every day. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I'm on a safe hour. Oh, that's uh, Rex talking about his thing. Uh, uh, Joker, Hall of Famer, he says. Uh, uh, yes. Um, they might as well just put him in now. You know what? You know what this might mean? Um, Aaron Rodgers may not want to retire. I, I mean, maybe he wasn't going to anyway. But Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to retire the same year as Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers, who does Aaron Rodgers love? Himself. Aaron Rodgers loves Aaron Rodgers. Himself. He doesn't want to go into the Hall of Fame where it's just a love fest for Tom Brady the same year as him. He's not going to get the attention. No attention. He gets no attention. Aaron Rodgers is 100% Roger, Roger. coming back next year. <laughs> where, that, where he'll play, I can't say. But he's coming back next year for sure now that now that Brady retired. Aaron Rodgers, he was talking on the Pat McAfee show about like, oh, some other people are making these uh, or talking about decisions for my future. Uh, it like little passive aggressive little comments of this and that. I'm just like, of course, we're talking about you right now. Uh, <laughs> like, what are we, what else are we talking about? Mayday in the chat. But on a more serious note, uh, my grandfather said in 2017 how good the Eagles would be on his deathbed. Talking to my dad. Uh, sorry, it's scrolling. Uh, where am I? At? Uh, talking. To, he never saw the Eagles Super Bowl win, but me and my dad cried when they won. My point is the Eagles fans have so much passion because it's yeah. I mean. And that, that's sure. a that's a hell of a story. And like those stories, yeah. those are those are I mean, those are meaningful, a hundred percent. And that's I mean that's why sometimes sports it's like sports is amazing of what it can do when it comes to like uniting people and you know you had the Hamlin thing that that happened that united everybody and you have like these moments with your family and you know. It, it, it's special when you have those types of things. Then how come so many people attack me in the chat, Chris? If we're if we're saying if sports are supposed to unite, and, and, and then and then his grandfather is saying, "F you, Scotty, uh, you're not winning this game from heaven." Yeah, like that's what he's oh. saying. <laughs> I don't think you should be saying "F you" in heaven. <laughs> I don't 